Hi there, and welcome to today's Quantum Carpenter Nature of Flowers video. Today I'm going to show you how to do a Banksy style portrait using Photo P on the left and Photoshop on the right. You can see the two images here, they look very, very similar. They've both been produced using these apps. Photoshop is obviously a paid application, and Photo P is free. You just literally type in photop.com into any internet browser and it will appear. Okay, so let's show you how to do it in Photoshop first of all. You're going to go make a new, I'm going to open the file. <laughs> And um, we need a picture of a wall. So you need to go out and take a photograph of a wall. Once you've got a photograph of a wall, we're going to need to get a photograph of a portrait. So we're going to go to File, and we're going to go Place Embedded. Once we've found the picture, we're looking for the face. We click Place. And it might say that it doesn't support the folder, but it will eventually if you click OK. There is our picture of a face. We press Enter on the keyboard so that we place it onto the wall. You can see if I open up the layer menu, you can see it's on its own layer here. We will need to rasterize this layer. So we go over to the right click, rasterize the layer. Once we have done that, we will then need to make it have none of this blue sky because I think that will affect the image overall. So we're going to use the subject select tool. We're going to go to select and then select subject. Wait for Photoshop to use its AI brain to work out what the subject of the picture is. And you can see it's now selected the edge. We will go to select and inverse, and it will select all the area that isn't the face. And then we will press backspace on the keyboard and it will delete it. Okay, once we've done that, we will press select, deselect to stop the flashing line. And you'll see we have the face cut out stuck on a wall. To create the sort of postery effect that we're looking for, we will go to image and image adjustments. Once we're in the adjustments, we're going to go for posterize because we're looking for that clean cut look. You can see the amount of layers that we can give it. If we do two, it's not enough. If we do four, it's too many. So I think we're settled on three levels. And you can see there's different shades of the image. So we click OK once we've done that. And you know we've got a posterized image. I think it will look far more like Banksy if we lose the color. So we're going to go to image, adjustments, and to black and white. Or more importantly, image adjustment, hue saturation, and we'll take out the saturation of it. So we lose the color that way. We can make adjustments to the brightness here if we wish, or we can leave it as it is. We click OK once we're happy with that. Then there's one more step we need to do to make it look like it's been spray painted onto this brick wall. We go to our layers menu and we go to our layer mode. We could try looking at multiply, which creates a nice effect, but not the one we're looking for. We could go to overlay, which again creates a nice effect, but not the one we're looking for. What we really want is the one that says hard light and that keeps the whites but you can still see the bricks coming through. So it looks like it's been spray painted on. Once you've done that, you can then experiment with the opacity to see if you want to make it look a little bit more faded in. And you can change the opacity on the slider there. Okay, so that's how you do it in Photoshop. That's the um, professional way using the paid application and you can see a really good result there. Obviously we go file, save as, etc., etc. Over in Photop, meanwhile, we will do the same process so I can show you just how simple it is to do it in Photop. So I'll press enter. We will go file, open. We will find our picture of a wall. We will click open. It will open the wall. Once we've opened the wall, we will go file, open and place, which is a slightly different version of place embedded, but does the same thing. So we click on the face picture click open it loads the face in because it's on the internet it's a little bit laggy sometimes so you can see there's a little bit of delay between actions and we don't have the same in photoshop we had select subject in photo p we have a different tool which is magic cut it does virtually the same thing you can see it will select the image that it thinks we need to use and then you click ok we've now cut out the background as you can see there we're then going to be looking to posterize the image like we did in Photoshop. So we will go across here, we will go to image, and we will go to adjustments, and we will look for posterize in 
in the same place. Does the same thing. You'll notice the slidey bar does the same effects. And we're looking for free for our levels. Once we've done that, we click OK. Then we need to remember what else we did. We did the um, black and white. So we will go again over to our image and to our adjustments. And we will go down to our hue and saturation. So you can see we can move the slidey bar under saturation and take the saturation out like so. And once we've done that, we will click OK. Sometimes, because it's on the internet, things can fall off the edge of the internet page. We haven't got it all the way open, so we click OK there. And you can see we've got the nice posterized effect. There's one more thing we need to remember to do, which is all about the layers and trying out different layer modes. So the layer menu over here looks very similar on Photoshop. It's got little layers on top of each other. In Photoshop here, it looks like this. We click on the layer with the face on it. We change the layer mode over here. We can try multiply. Does it work? No. So we're going to try our overlay. And again, you can see the different effects it creates. And then we will try our hard light. Hide the layer menu. And you can see we now have an incredibly similar picture in both apps. Done for free on the internet over here done on a paid application over here. Now, I'm not saying one's better than the other at this point. They both do the same job very effectively. It depends on your budget, whether you can afford them. You can see there's slightly better detail quality on the Photoshop place around the chin and around the hair than on the Photo P1. Um, it's up to you to decide. If you've got the money to spend on Photoshop, I highly recommend getting that. If you don't, use Photo P and you can use it anyway. You can do it on your phone, you can do it on a tablet, do it on the computer. Now, hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, um, make sure to pop along to my channel, make Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers, and hit that subscribe button. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and have a lovely day. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.